Hi, I'm Jessica Scherer. I'm here with Her Flicks at New York Women in Film and TV's Muse Awards 2013. These awards honor outstanding achievement of women in the entertainment industries. The Lorreen Arbus Award for those who take action and affect change goes to award-winning producer, actor and activist Nancy Malone. This year's hosts are TV personalities Wendy Williams and Andy Cohen. And now let's go to the red carpet. Question, a girl from the South Bronx, you clean up quite well, <laughs> right? She does, she looks fantastic. I'm so flattered to be in the company that I am with these wonderful actors and producers that have done so much work as well. Now, you, you've been on Sesame Street for over 45 years. Yes, I know. Now, did you ever think as a young girl that perhaps you would be working on a show that has 13 Emmys? No, I never thought anything was going to last this long. As you know, we're a society that likes disposable things. So for a show to last this long on television is really remarkable. And let's say tomorrow you could do anything you wanted and know you wouldn't fail. What would you do? I would write that award-winning screenplay. That's what I would do. And I bet you have it up your sleeve. I have it up my sleeve. You do. <laughs> and how does it feel to be here? Um, let's see, you, you were inducted into the Bronx Hall of Fame recently. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, that's a, that's a real special honor to me because I am from the Bronx. Uh, so here I, I'm living in two worlds, the Bronx world and the, the, the la di da world here of New York women in film and television. Yeah, it is a contrast, right? Yeah. You know, but it is kind of awesome to be induct into the world of women because yes. there's some pretty powerful women and that's you thank you thank you very much it's a pleasure to be here so now yeah. you are from where originally uh just outside london uh, and now you're here in yes. new york yes yes i came uh for 18 months and i've been here 18 years and so you are the just... president of oxygen network and, and bravo. bravo which is kind of an amazing thing and in the last three years you guys have soared you're one of the top 10 networks what thinks that's what do you think sets you guys apart I think we have, well, with Bravo, it's about a very, very specific audience that we appeal to. Um, and it's all about our shows. People really connect with the characters in the shows, whether they're housewives or house flippers or stylists. And there's an aspirational quality to what they do and, and how they live their lives. So I think it's yeah. that. Would you say that your audience might be educated? They might be interesting. They, they seem to be a different kind of crowd. They are a very different kind of crowd. It's it's a very educated, very upscale audience, and I think that we try and put people on the screen who they can relate to and identify with, and you know who who live in those worlds, who live in these sort of like fantastic houses and right. dreams may come. Yes, Let's exactly. See, what would be uh, your top values? Oh, I think fairness and belief in fun and respect for people and um, creativity I think yeah. is really sort yeah. of high up there but I think fairness would be at, at the top of the list. That's good when you're when you're when you're in your position to be fair <laughs> to be fair yes. and if you Try could do anything fair. tomorrow and you knew you were not going to fail what would it be? Oh, um, aside from world peace and, and balancing the budget, <laughs> uh, yes. a couple of lofty things. Um, I think, you know, Bravo and Oxygen are going to soar still and really sort of appeal to, with, with Oxygen, we're catering to a young woman, a millennial woman, and I think that network is going to take off next year. So. That gave me the chills. That did. Oh, How does it you. feel to be here being awarded on a Muse Award? How does that feel to be amongst your peers? Women it, as well. <laughs> it feels fantastic and a little daunting. And, you know, I'd sort of never thought of myself that way. And it makes you kind of reflect on what you've done. Um, but it's, it's really a fantastic honor. Well, we congratulate you because you certainly deserve the honor. Thank so. you very much. Thank you. You're from Boston, raised in Virginia. Virginia. You're here in New York doing absolutely amazing on Nashville, singing, acting, doing your thing. Did you ever think as a little girl you'd be here? I could never have imagined. And yet I, there must have been some part of me that um, just always held it held it as a dream because, you know, being an actor, I never imagined that I could actually do the things that I've been doing, you know, uh, when I was a little girl growing up in Virginia, but it was what I always wanted to do. So um, I'm one of the incredibly fortunate people who has actually been able to manifest the things that I've been, that I dreamed about when I was a little girl. Yeah, well, dream big, big dreams, yeah. as I like to say. Why not? Yeah. Uh, now, we're here at the Muse Awards. You're being awarded. How does that feel to be, uh, you know, known and seen by your colleagues? Humbling, really. Mm -hmm. And, um, 
you know, this and from this organization in particular, which is such an important organization for women and women in New York, um, to have them acknowledge the work that I've been doing is really, I'm, I'm sort of, I, I sort of I don't even know what to say. You know, it's really, it's really moving to me. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm, I'm coming here to support all these amazing women today. Uh, Connie Britton is, is one of my very best friends for many, many years, and uh, she's being honored, so I've come to support her. And also Robin Wright is also a dear friend and, and, a, and an actress who I've loved for so, so long. Um, and so just, you know, really coming to cheer these lovely ladies on and you've got to get dressed up for the ladies. Oh, this is my favorite part is when we put on the outfits and all that jazz. I try. It's, it's always about the hat. It's a good hat. I, yeah. I generally wear hats too. I didn't today, but. That's okay because I'm sure I'll see you again. You'll be wearing a fabulous hat. Well, thanks so much for your time. And I'm first wondering, you guys have been here, um, you know, to, to kind of, uh, to, to get excited about these honorees. What does that mean to be supporting women? everything you know uh, as a woman I want other women to support me and uh, you know these women in this room are great and powerful and almighty yeah and you are too you're a mother you're a movie mogul you're a writer you do the Wendy Williams show I mean you are busy and from what I know 2017 your show is running through yes yes Yay. we're in our fifth season now the show is doing really great yeah and uh, what makes it sparkle me. Of course it does. I see. <laughs> She's all glam. She's brilliant. And this, my dear sir, how do you get 2 million Twitter followers every day? Do you know you have 2, mi two million people following you? Uh, I don't, but um, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I love to tweet. Well, why not? You are one of the top 100 uh, creatives in this world. Wow. Well, thank you. I, don't, I didn't know that. Cagney and Lacey are here. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Well, thanks so much. You've been watching a Herflix moment.